This is Dara Dudu by Kay Umansky and Corky Paul. When walking in the woods one day, I met a friend called Fred. He was going on a dodo hunt. Well, that is what he said. He was carrying a bucket and a shovel and a rope, a net, a sack, a bag of chips, a homemade telescope. And strapped across his shoulder was a most peculiar pipe that he claimed would make a dodo noise. The kid was talking tribe. A dodo hunt, I said to Fred, and gave a little sneer. There are no dodos in this wood. You'll find no dodos here. For dodos are extinct, you see. I know that same as you do. If dodos are extinct, said Fred, then what's that dodo do do? He pointed to a steaming pile that lay beside the trail, and he took his trusty shovel and he plopped it in his pail. How do you know that's dodo do do? I asked in some surprise. He was staring in the bucket like he'd won some fancy prize. It could be from a chicken, or a partridge, or a quail, or any other bird that does its doo-doo on the trail. It isn't though. It's dodo do. I know it is, said Fred. And the dodo that did the do is somewhere up ahead. Stand back. I'll blow the dodo pipe to flush it out, you know. He raised it to his eager lips and gave a mighty blow. A head came first. A head with eyes. A head with eyes and beak. Those eyes were wide with shocked surprise. Don't move, said Fred. Don't speak. She's big, I said. She's big and fierce. I think she just might bite. I don't think we should hang around. I think she wants a fight. Oh no, said Fred. The dodo is a gentle sort of bird. She only wants to hug us. I'm the expert. Take my word. He charged us from the bushes. Fred went shinning up a tree. The dodo hurtled onwards. She was heading straight for me. I dodged around the dodo and I raced towards the thicket. I hoped to hide somewhere inside. I hoped that I could trick it. I didn't see the dodo do until it was too late. I found a bit that Fred had missed. What happened next was fate. I landed in the nest, you see. The nest that had the egg in. I really put my foot in it. In fact, I put my leg in. I'd smashed the world's last dodo egg. That's what I'd gone and done. The dodo mum was not amused. She'd only laid the one. She pecked my nose, she pecked my knees, she pecked my scarlet ears. She wandered off, I don't know where. Her eyes were full of tears. Friend Fred came climbing down the tree and made a great to-do. The dodos are extinct, he snapped. They will be, thanks to you. A tragic little story, guaranteed to spoil your day. It started out with doo-doo and went downhill all the way. I'll leave you with a moral, which is very short and sweet. If you're out walking in the woods, watch where you put your feet.